All right, today is October 13, 2013. Let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the market here. Uh, looking at the uh, Dow Jones 30. The Dow Jones 30, uh, you know, seems to be uh, still holding on to this uh, particular trend line, even though that it uh, dipped below it for uh, a few days, but it uh, kind of reclaimed it and got it back above it, uh, uh, you know, quite uh, quickly. And you see that it actually came down, you know, to uh, this particular support level and then it uh, bounces back up and essentially uh, a lot of people was looking at the uh, possible uh, you know 200 day moving average uh, bounce offered here and right now it's uh, we claim the uh, 50 day uh, moving average and also the uh, 20 EMA but although the 20 EMA is uh, below the 50 and the 50 is kind of uh, you know in a uh, uh, declining uh, uh, a slope here so it's probably need to uh, have some uh, consolidation over here to uh, turn this 50-day moving average back up. But the uh, key level to watch essentially is uh, possibly this particular pivot uh, pivot point here. And if it uh, you know could get back above this, then there's a good chance that it might get back up and uh, try to retest the uh, the previous uh, all-time high here up at this level, which is somewhere around the. Uh, you know, 15,676. So I need to uh, get back up about the 16, 000, I mean, 15,328 level here. And if we can't uh, hold above this uh, trend line, then most likely it's going to come back and uh, retest this particular, uh, you know, this particular uh, pivot low here. And uh, that would be somewhere around the uh, 14,776. Uh, and then uh, depending on how the price action hold up, at this particular support, if it uh, break down, then it could, uh, you know, possibly even come all the way down here to somewhere near this uh, 14,000 uh, level. But uh, that would be a uh, quite a spook for for the market uh, participant. But until then, you know, right now we basically want to watch to see could it uh, reclaim this particular pivot over here. And uh, so we just have to keep an eye on, uh, see what uh, sort of a uh, uh, you know, finale, those uh, Washington, D.C. clown is going to uh, uh, have on this uh, death ceiling uh, clown show that they are playing. But uh, in regardless, you know, the market will do what it's uh, going to do. So we just have to, uh, you know, keep an eye on the price action here. And looking at the S&P 500, the S&P 500 also, you know, dipped below this uh, trend line for a day or so. And then it came back up uh, quite nicely and also, uh, you know, reclaimed the 50-day uh, moving average, although the... Uh, 20 EMA is above the uh, the 50 days, so it's a little bit uh, better looking than the uh, uh, Dow Jones 30. But uh, again, you know, we essentially want to see uh, the uh, S&P 500 to uh, get back about this particular pivot uh, point here, which is somewhere around the 1709. So it's basically like a 1710. So if we could get back about that 1710, then there's a good chance that it might be uh, coming back up and. Uh, you know, we test this all-time high here up at the uh, 1725, 1726 level. But if we can't uh, hold above that, then we're probably looking for it to come back down, pick below this, and uh, maybe, you know, again, you know, come back and uh, test this particular pivot low, the uh, 1630 uh, for possible support here. And then looking at the uh, NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ 100 seems to be holding up much better than the other, uh, you know, the S&P or the uh, Dow Jones. And it's, uh, you know, you can see that it's getting back pretty close to this, you know, multi-year high here up at this level here, somewhere around the uh, 32.53 level. And uh, right now it's only, uh, you know, a few, uh, you know, 30.53, so it's about 20 points away. So you can see that uh, right now it's sitting up at this uh, rising, uh, you know, 20 EMA again. And, uh, you know, so we just have to see uh, how much of a resilient does the uh, the tech sector have to uh, push this thing up to a uh, new uh, multi-year high. This with the uh, earning uh, season uh, uh, starting again, yeah, so we're going to see a lot of uh, volatility from some of these high beta stocks. And uh, so that uh, could definitely, uh, uh, you know, put some excitement here on this uh, NASDAQ 100 uh, uh, index. So we just have to keep an eye on this to see could it take out this new, you know, multi-year high. If not, it's going to come back down, then uh, we have to watch for uh, this particular level for possible support somewhere around the uh, 3143, 3145 area. You know, so, uh, you know, that's uh, essentially near this 50-day uh, moving average here. And then finally, the uh, Russell 2000. The Russell 2000 it seems to be the strongest out of the uh, 
all the um, uh, you know major market indexes, and you can see that uh, right now it seems to be you know riding uh, you know again still above this uh, particular trend line here. And uh, let me uh, get back here. You know, so and also uh, getting uh, pretty close to this uh, all-time high here. You know at this particular level, and uh, there's somewhere around the. Uh, uh, okay, somewhere around the uh, uh, one thousand eighty-seven forty-three. So right now we're only talking about uh, you know less than four point away to uh, this uh, new all-time high here. So again, you know the Russell two thousand is uh, very strong, and it seems to imply uh, the risk is back on. But uh, again, you know if it can't uh, you know get uh, get above this uh, level or hear some kind of resistance and start pulling back, we essentially have to uh, keep an eye on this possible. Level here as potential support, which is somewhere around the uh, you know the 1040 area, you know the 1043, 1044, and uh, you know the ultimate uh, support is probably down here somewhere around this uh, you know near this 1000. But that's going to be uh, uh, take a little bit of a working to get this thing down here. You know it's going to be some massive selling to get down here. It almost got down to that 1000 near at this particular point here, but uh, right now it seems like it wanted. You know, take out this all-time high. So we just have to keep an eye on that. So again, you know, with the uh, earnings uh, season uh, start uh, getting more active, so in next week and uh, and then the following week, uh, as more and more of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, momentum stock and high beta stock reporting, so the market is going to have uh, uh, increasing volatility uh, based on that. In addition to the uh, Washington headline, so just have to be careful and be cautious. So good luck on your trading next week.